Hey Google, are you feeling lucky? No. You did it! You just unlocked the game show assistant. No. Here comes the music. Yes! No! Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? I'll go ahead and assume you're feeling lucky and start the show. <laughs> I'm the host, your Google Assistant. How many contestants? I need a number. Four. Five. Five. Sorry, but five is the max. How many want to play this time? Five. Four. Stop! Five. Five contestants. Sounds good. Five rounds coming up. Let's get to know you. Hello, contestant one. Tell me your name. Stella. That's an excellent name for most purposes, but I'd rather call you Alfalfa. And contestant two, I think we could be friends. What's your name? Subashri. Subaru? That's an excellent name for most purposes, but I'd rather call you Dragonfly. Contestant three is next. What do you want to be called? Tanushri. No, what do you want to be called? Welcome to the game. Your game name is Pudding. You can use your regular name outside of the game. What's my name? On to contestant four. What's your name? Savannah. I'll just call you Fluffy. It's easier to pronounce. Contestant five is next. What would you like to be called? Wolf Revo. Wow, I didn't expect a cool name like that. I'd feel more comfortable calling you Clementine. Okay, let's get things started with a question for Alfalfa. It should go by quickly, but if you want to end the game early, just say stop. Do the math. What's five times seven? Thirty-five. Thirty. Or thirty-two. Thirty-five. Nice. Nice us, huh? You must have heard that one before. That's right. Dragonfly, your turn. Your question is coming. This one is pretty tasty. How many cups of coffee does Dunkin' Donuts sell every second? One hundred. One. Or thirty. One hundred. Yours was easier! Sorry, that's the wrong answer. You should have said thirty. Get ready, pudding. Here comes your question. Ooh, science. Who invented the periodic table? <laughs> John Kay. Dmitri Mendeleev. Or Alfred Nobel. Alfred Nobel? that question. Sorry, can't give you a point this time. The answer I wanted was Dmitri Mendeleev. Next up, it's Fluffy. Your question is here. See if you can debug this one. True or false, the first computer bug ever found was a ma. True. Great job, Fluffy. Way to go. Now, on to Clementine. Your question is next. Let's see what you know about animals. True or false, cobras are poisonous. False. They're venomous. Wrong. I was looking for true. They're venomous. Round two. Let's do this. Alfalfa, you're up. You Prepare for your question. I hope you like people. Which celebrity was born first? Marilyn Monroe, Lee Michelle, or Anne Hathaway? Marilyn Monroe. Yep, that's it. You're up, dragonfly. Your question is next. Hope you've been studying the dictionary. Choose the word that means cautious and guarded. Deleterious. Fraud. Or wary. Fraud. The first one. Blue, no. <laughs> Good guess, but no. Sorry, the real answer is worry. Next up, it's pudding. Here comes your question. If you know the answer, you might be a foodie. True or false, it takes 90 minutes to hard boil an ostrich egg. Oh, True? <laughs> That's right. Nice work, Fluffy. Your turn. This is your question. Hope you brought your passport. The topic is geography. What's the capital of Afghanistan? Kabul. Islamabad. Or Tehran. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we'll just move on. I wish you had said cobble. Get ready, Clementine. This is your question. Search your past. It's about history. When did California become a state? 1850. 
1859 or 1912? 1850. Nice. One year after the 49ers. You got it right. Oh. Round three. Let's do this. Now. On to Alfalfa. Prepare for your question. Pay attention. It's about TV. What actor plays Dexter Morgan in Dexter? Michael C. Hall. Phyllis Diller. Or Jennifer Carpenter? Michael C. Hall. Michael C. Hall. That's your favorite song! Oh, yeah. I'm impressed. Great job. On to our next contestant. Dragonfly. Here's your next question. This, game, this one is tough. True or false, Coca-Cola was originally patented as medicine. False. Uh, she led you astray. You. Oh, You're smart, was, but that one was tough. It. You didn't get it right. Sorry, it was true. Pudding, it's your turn. A Pudding. question for you is coming. It's from the world of film. Who won the Academy Award for Best Director for the 2001 movie A Beautiful Mind? James Ivory. Ron Howard. Or James Cameron. James Cameron. You can't talk when it's somebody else's turn. No, 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 no. sorry, pudding. The answer is, in fact, Ron Howard. I was Moving right along. Howard, Let's really? go to Fluffy. Oh, it's Prepare for your question. Make a mental map. Well, who would you have said? <laughs> what is Lebanon's know. capital? Damascus, Jerusalem, or know. Beirut? Repeat that. Sure. The question is. What is Lebanon's capital? Damascus, Jerusalem, or Beirut? Damascus. <laughs> Challenging question, and you got it wrong. I wish you had said Beirut. I don't know math 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 math. Your question is here. This is a wild one. True or false, sharks can grow thousands of teeth in a lifetime. True. I underestimated you. You got it right. Great job. Why do I get the Round four. for all Here we go. Alfalfa, you're up. This question is for you. This one's about people. Who's taller? Barack Obama or Donald Trump? Barack Obama? Uh, oh, wow. Whoa. He doesn't look taller. I can see why you'd guess that. But no, it's actually Donald Trump. Blam. Dragonfly, it's your turn. <laughs> it's time for your question. It's geography for you. Where is Italy is located on which continent? Europe, North America, or South America? If you don't know this, you're stupid. <laughs> what? Europe? <laughs> Wait, what? Gosh. Bad luck this time. The answer I was looking for is Europe. What are you saying? Yeah, while well, other people pudding. are talking. Next question. Let's see how you do. True or false, the average pencil holds enough graphite to draw a line 50 miles long. True? <laughs> Almost correct, but no, it's actually false. Fluffy, your turn. Your question is here. It's an animal question. True or false, sea otters have pouches in which they store their favorite rocks. True. Yeah. Right. Nailed it. You must read a lot or Nailed something. It. On to our next contestant, Clementine. It's time for your question. The magic trivia machine just popped out a math question. What's 70 divided by 5? What? Where are 13, you? 16, or 14? 13. 14. Yeah. Nope. The answer I was looking for is 14. <laughs> This is the last round, or as I like to call it, the final round. The next contestant is Alfalfa. Here comes your question. Hope you've been training. The topic is sports. If you include the end zones, how long is a football field? 120 meters, 120 yards, or 120 feet? 120 yards. What are you doing? I know that it's Great wrong. job, Alfalfa. Way to go. Dragonfly, you're up now. This is your question. Animals are very mysterious. True or false, all mollusks are invertebrates. Can you repeat that? Sure. The question is, 
True or false, all mollusks are invertebrates. True. You called it. Great job. Here's one for pudding. A question for you is coming. A math problem. What's six times five? Twenty-five. Twenty. Or thirty. Thirty. Great answer. You got it right. Okay, let's go to Fluffy now. Prepare for your question. It concerns books and writers. Ecclesiastes was written by which author? Solomon. Anonimo. Or John Steinbeck. <laughs> Solomon. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Gosh. Tough one. It was Solomon. On to our next contestant. Clementine. Yeah, I used to next say that. Question. Here's one from the silver screen. Who plays Mystique in the 2016 movie Men Apocalypse? Anne Hathaway, Margot Robbie, or Jennifer Lawrence? <gasps> Jennifer Lawrence. Stella, so, shut up. You won! Perfect. Way to go. Oh, man. Who won? You have finished all the questions. Let's see who won. Put up. It was a great game. We were all on the edge of our seat for that one. I wish that all of you could be winners today, but only one person had the high score. Alfalfa, please accept this. Ha, ha, ha. And imagine me smiling as I That's give it to you. That's my name. Thanks, everyone. Do you want to play again? Give her a name.